Hey everybody, and welcome back. Today we have another Half-Life mod. This time we have Rebel Surge, uh, which its prominent feature is the game changes depending on the difficulty you have. So uh, it changes the enemies and the amount of supplies. It's recommended to play on normal, but I don't want to play on normal. I want to play on hard. I, I'm willing to try the challenge of playing on hard. So we're, we're going to do hard, obviously. And from my knowledge, there are two maps. I did the console command to check how many new maps were here, and we have two maps, I think. I assume that how, that's how that worked. I had to install an additional thing on top of this for this to work. It comes with everything you need, so you can just throw everything into your source mods folder. Okay, there was a little cut there. I had to change my sensitivity because I always have to change my sensitivity when it's a new Half-Life mod, and I have completely forgotten what I was even talking about beforehand. Oh, well you had to install, uh, it came with like a map based thing. Like, uh, it uses something besides base Half-Life to run this. And I assume it's uh, it's like a map ad. Like, if anyone ever played S-Mod, where you could add enemies to maps, but you had to, uh, you had to use a certain thing. I assume, oh, that guy's dead. We have a brick laying around here. They have like a brick, uh, uh, well there's a filing cabinet. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Um, computer, maybe? Computer could theoretically break a window. Hey, yeah, that works. Uh, supply. <laughs> we don't need any of this. Crowbar, thank you, my good man. Enjoy your newspaper. We do have armor in there, so we will grab some armor. Supplies will be limited. And I did not go and buy quick save. I do not have... I'm on a different computer, so my mouse is different. And I don't have the buttons required to bind quick save to the mouse. So, I did not buy quick save. We are going to be doing this without quick saves. We'll probably use hard saves, probably. But no quick saves. Hello, hello G-Man. Okay, well, he's gone. More dead guys. Gravity gun, pretty good. Gravity gun, a machine gun, and a pistol. It's pretty good to start off with. Though, is the door gonna open back up here? Oh, oh, there's a lock on the other side of this. I didn't, I didn't notice the lock. My mistake. I'm liking the environments. I know I harp on about it sometimes that uh, environments don't look realistic. But these, these look nice. I, I'm loving it, because I've I've dabbled with the hammer editor, or uh, is it still called the hammer editor if it's Half Life Two. I've done I've used both, but the last one I was playing around with was the hammer editor. Editor, I can't say this word. All these words I just can't say them. This has to be for something. Yeah, you don't just have a gear laying about and not need the gear. You it's just that's how that works. There. Are, Oh, there's an elevator upstairs. Um, I did Close the door. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he takes way too much damage. I don't want to fight him with my limited... I shouldn't have hand... Like, I don't know how limited limited is. I do have a gravity gun, so I guess I don't have to care that much. Gravity gun will take care of almost anything. So long as I have a barrel. I just need... Really, I just need a single barrel. It's better than a brick. It's better than a box. See, the... Like... You wouldn't really think there'd be tears. Box? Nice! Oh, no tears. Box is pretty nice, but it breaks. That's the issue. Dr. Freeman, oh, wait. you're fighting zombies. We'll come with you. Oh, thanks. Okay, Striders. Okay, he's way down there. I don't have to worry about him. I hope. But with with the box, it breaks after one use. Bricks are nice because, you know, they're thick and they don't break. However, if you're fighting uh, Half-Life, <laughs> wouldn't let go. It, can I grab him? It kind of looks like I can grab him. Come on. That yeah, works. If you're playing Episode 2 and you're fighting Hunters, you don't have the coverage you need for when they shoot their missile attacks at you. Which is why the barrel. The barrel is the best. Is that Allie from... 
midway through Half-Life 2? I guess it's not really midway. Midway would be zombies, the beach, and uh, Nova Prospect. I'd count that as midway. I'd count the uh, the town is probably later on. Where is that? Way up there. Up. Hey, yeah, they got that. G-man's under the window. He's being a spooky boy as always. Oh, oh, I need this. Hey, that worked. Second there, I was sure he was dead. More landmines. Yeah, this is feeling a lot like uh follow is it follow Freeman? What is that chapter called? I usually give up around Nova Prospect. Cause it I don't know. Nova Prospect is kinda longish. I mean it's got some fun parts with the turrets. However, the afterward part where you're going through the streets, I don't care about that part. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh my god, that was. Mistakes were made. The Tata Tart, throw it way over there. I need to remember to quickly switch weapons. I don't know why I'm bad at switching weapons. I don't need to reload. I had like full health. Unless he was screaming, he had to reload. I, I can get this. I can do it. I may be bad at this. This is what happens when you get a new mouse. You're not, you're not used to it. That and I actually have a new keyboard. Technically not new. They're technically old that I was in a cabinet. Because this computer did not have a mouse and keyboard when I built it. Which was a mistake. Should have gotten a mouse to go with the er, mouse and keyboard to go with the new keyboard. Now watch out for that. Don't want that to kill you. You're very helpful so far and I'd like to keep you alive. It, the perfect time to quick save if I was using quick saves. Birds? Okay. See if you if you oh he's just gonna die like that. If uh, you don't trigger them, you have to wait until they you know get themselves stuck out of the floor. See, it takes a long time, so it, it's easier just to go and trigger them and grab them in there. Oh, we got dudes fine. You got any ammo over here? No. Oh, we got. Dude's way, way down there. They're fairly accurate, too. Oh, a second. Let me, uh, do the good old one taps here. Maybe. They're kinda accurate. Well, they don't even have to be accurate. They just have to get one shot in. That guy took way, way too many shots to kill. That guy only took one. We lost one lady. But I can only. Oh wait, wait, who's a medic? One of you is a medic. Thank you. Got any more of that good stuff? Come on. No. Okay. Fine. Whatever. It should be noted this has uh, custom music as well. It has uh, two soundtracks that. Uh, if you go to the mod page, he has a SoundCloud link with both of them on there. If you want them. I do like them. I did. I gave them a listen. They're pretty nice. And they're over. <laughs> there's one. There's one more later on this too. There, guy. There, the guy way up there. My mouse sensitivity is a little wonky on my end, so I. I'm not used to this mouse sensitivity. I have two mice, each set to a different sensitivity, so swapping back and forth. Not conducive to very being very good at this game. Okay, there was a guy hiding behind that corner. I was gonna try and rush. It's my own fault, really. I should have known there'd be no checkpoints. I do get. Oh, she got. She got absolutely blasted. Out of the way. I want. I want to go get that other one. Oh, that takes a little bit. Uh, can I get that guy too? I can't, sweet. I, I would like to get the hex, like man hex, but yeah, I guess the cable's fine. Get him? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Hey, uh, you want to give me a med kit? Wait, which? It's different dudes, right? I had two, uh, two. 
white lady or two white shirts. One of them's still a medic. I don't know which one it is. No idea. Oh, it's you. Okay. I, I just had to pretend to murder your friends. Okay, we want. I wish I had a power weapon or two. Perfect time for power weapon. Magnum, crossbow, shotgun for uh, running up, I guess. Technically, if you're playing on easy, you're supposed to be running through this willy nilly. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of ammo. A little careful with my shots here. First, first pistol shot should be almost completely accurate. It's not 100%, which is my issue. Then, and uh, I assume the enemies do have increased health. Because I, I assume that doesn't change for a big card. Plenty of ammo for the machine gun. Jeez. Okay, it's, machine gun's probably my least used gun in all of Half Life. It's just not accurate enough. Everything else is really accurate. If we're not. That gave me an increment of two. If we're not talking guns, it's definitely the grenade. I never use the grenade. Actually, technically, I use the grenade all the time when enemies throw it at me. It's very easy to throw the grenade back. If there was a dedicated G for grenade, maybe? But that, this is too early in the, uh, the FPS time span to have that commonly. That was a Call of Duty thing. And, uh, when, when was first Call of Duty come out? I, don't, I remember when Call of Duty 1 came out. That has a dedicated grenade button. I, does it? I'm pretty sure it's got a dedicated grenade button. Maybe it doesn't. I, I played through Call of Duty, the first one, uh, maybe a year ago. I don't actually remember. Grenades may have been their own separate category. I don't think they were. That doesn't seem right. Though I vaguely recall seeing... Maybe you can just see the grenades in the inventory. I got the weird... Uh, Saxophone? I have no idea what instrument that is. Okay, map two. So far, so good. I'm liking it. Difficulty still hard. It does change theoretically. If I had switched the difficulty to easy, low to the map, it would have uh, given us different difficulty. Because it uh, it checks when the map starts. Uh, oh oh oh, Magnum Suite. Okay, we're good now. Sorry. Magnum is more or less only good for headshots, which means you're not going to be using it on zombies, you're going to be using it on mostly stationary enemies. But not snipers, because snipers don't exist in this game. They're only uh, boxes that you need to throw grenades at. For some... I thought that was a weird... like it, Overly blue there. Uh, can you guys just go sit in the corner? Or you guys could be distractions, one of the two. You just gotta, you just gotta do a little dance like this. He tries to uh, predict where you're gonna move. Ah, well, nah. Hey, a little harder when he's close. If you have time. Do I have. I don't have Magnum. You guys stay there. For the first time, I'm gonna hit the C key. I'm gonna get stuck on every railing going up the staircase. It's fine. i gonna get the Magnum. The squad is now following me again because they're babies and they're afraid to be on their own for more than a few seconds. It's fine. You just gotta, you just gotta, you gotta move one direction, and at the very last second, move the opposite direction. That, that is the key to avoiding this man. And that, that's how you do it. And you throw one of those grenades. Thankfully, he did not kill the medic. Throw a grenade up there, and you're good to go. Only issue is if you get the, you, you need the rhythm. If the rhythm is going good. You're fine. If you mess the rhythm up, you're probably gonna get hit multiple times in a row and die. Which is what happened last time. The rhythm, I had lost the rhythm, and then I died. But yeah, uh, you can no clip up there, and there's no sniper up there. Until, uh, once you throw the grenade in there, uh, the sniper body spawns after, after it explodes. Okay, that's weird. Talking about stuff. Again, I'm using a new computer, so all my like my audio is always awful, <laughs> always bad. So uh, 
there's my audio is probably a little weird. I'm, I'm trying to make sure it's not flipping. I, I managed to mess it up with Alex yesterday. I, I bunged it up real good. Why are you screaming? So I'm, I'm trying not to make that mistake again. I'm sure I will. I'd rather not though. Also, God tier idea. Just make him do two, like have half the amount in there, but twice as fast. That way I don't have to stand here and wait a hundred hours for that to finish. Great idea. I could go for some turrets. Hey, uh, if you guys want to die, give me your gun. Also, good idea. Am I going to defend this uh, courtyard? or? Just... I mean, there's a lot of ammo boxes around here. Kind of thinking that. On the other hand, I could just be leaving. No, the... Uh... I can't move that. Saw through me. Don't stand next to. The, don't stand next to the door. The enemies can't get out, and I can't get the ammo. Shotgun boy. Shotgun boy. Oh, okay. And you as well. Uh, can't take this. Can't take that. A trash can. And I missed. Whatever. Hit him with a magnum. If you have like a barrel, you could stun lock him. Or uh. Or uh, you could let them shoot the barrel and then shoot the barrel back and out with them. Or at least you can do like damn shit. He's dead. He came back for me. Ooh, cart. Okay, I can take this. I do have full health. Please, please move. Please. <laughs> I'm okay with uh, the squad dying. I don't particularly like the AI companions in Half-Life. I mean, it's nice to give you ammo, but they're pretty bad when it comes to uh, getting out of your way. Half-Life 1, can I move these guys? I can't move the cars either. I was gonna try and barricade some doors. You could probably barricade the door with uh, this. Probably. I can't see anything. Yeah, it says barrel. Stuff is happening somewhere. Oh, there's at least three of them. Man, that is a lot of uh, those guys. Huh? He had a big gun. I need. I don't have a shotgun. I was gonna shotgun open this crate. Hey, uh, could you maybe not lock me in the corner of death? Okay, I guess we're making our final stand here, boys. I can send them away. They are. Acting as great meat shields right now. Hey, how did you get through there? You're not supposed to be back there. They're con they were combined all along. I'm getting a little caught off guard because of how much damage it needs to do. I don't know. I, I assume they're doing less damage. I don't know why I would assume that. I guess my last playthrough of Half Life wasn't on hard. Because there's no reason to no reason to bump it up too hard, really. I, I guess if you really just want to show that you can do it, maybe. Oh, here's Fly of Valkyries. I did see that was on there too. Oh, there's there gonna be gunship. Oh, hello. Uh, mind if I have one of those? Yeah, you don't deserve that. Wait. Just Die, please. Thank you. Okay, so he does drop bombs, so that's probably what I'm supposed to do. But rockets will uh oh, hit the tree. Rockets will definitely speed this up. While those are oh, another one. Sweet, thanks. Yeah, if you wanna you wanna keep uh, spamming these down here, I'll take them. No reason to waste good uh, bombs. That other rocket guy died? No, still alive. Can't hit the broadside of a barn. But, uh, I appreciate the sentiment. Is it weird we're gonna fly the Valkyries and we're not flying? I mean, I, I get it. He's flying. I wish I was flying, though. Did he, he gave me a rocket? Oh my god. A uh, genius. I love it. Why is it that uh, the 
helicopters in Half-Life take like 18,000 rockets. They're just helicopters, right? I need to grab one of these. He's gotta be close. Oh, there he goes. Oh, don't crush me. Don't crush me. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost got taken out by that. Cleverly done, Mr. Freeman, but you're not supposed to be here. As a matter of fact, G-Man, G-Man, I'm over here. Get back oh, where you, you belong and forget about all this. Until we meet again. Adios, G-Man. It was nice seeing you. Rebel Surge. It used a map base. I'm not entirely sure what that is. But, um, it was pretty good. I'm a big fan of Half-Life maps. That was, that was pretty good. I like that. Lip Sync for G-Man. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't, uh, Entropy Zero Discord server for motivation. Ooh, look at that. That The demo for that's coming out pretty soon. I'll be excited to see that. Okay, well, that was Rebel Surge. That was pretty good. I, I'm a big fan of that. It's a nice little Half-Life map. Oh, you thought that was the end? Uh, surprise! I actually missed a small secret. If you're playing on hard, you can get access to a small secret. Which, uh, is behind- there's a bookcase here I broke. But it- I believe it's this tunnel. Cause I didn't go here last time, and here we have Steven's room. So what is in Steven's room? Well, I mean, up- right here just kinda seems like a regular room, but, uh, here we have an actual little bedroom. Can I, uh, can I play with the computer? It kinda looks like I can play with the computer. Could you imagine if I could play Half-Life on this tiny computer? That'd be great. It's a nice little room. Yeah, I need a pillow because it. I I just like having pillows to be honest. Just uh, you can take a light, nice little nap and a nice little snooze here in Steven's room. <laughs>